Hey guys, welcome to my show. I'm excited as well because my guest today is the gorgeous and problematic Nancy Sime. <laughs> <laughs> Please put your hands together for my guest. Guys, I, I put you in the studio for, for people to clap. So please clap. <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> Thank you for finally coming. Though. I thought you were Thank not going to come you. again. <laughs> what an introduction. From um, problematic. I'm I'm good. I've been great. Living. Yeah, I I would do more introduction as we go. Yeah, <laughs> I would I would say actress. <laughs> no, host. I don't even have a problem. That's just I wasn't expecting it unproblematic. You've said it so much to me that I didn't yes, think no. you're going to introduce me as. <laughs> Nancy, you not know, anyone. Like, I never hear say any quarrel with anybody. Are you an angel? <laughs> like, how do you do it? That's why I came in all white now. You know, Nancy. <laughs> And I mean black explains a lot. That's it, so black. <laughs> no, but seriously, like I've never heard like, oh, she did something to me bad. She was late. Something affected the gig or something. Why? Why? I don't know. I mean, see, I was late today, but you might not talk about it because of your track record. Because I don't know you to be anybody. I mean, if she's yeah. not coming early or she didn't come early, yeah. it's probably a reason. And you gave mm-hmm. me a legit reason, so it makes yeah. sense. So. Yeah. But why? Why have you ab- adopted this? style of just being yeah i mean for me i'm i just naturally i'm not a person that looks for trouble do you get yeah. i don't find trouble attractive i don't find drama attractive i yeah. basically just live a life and for myself i'm true to myself and myself really someone who is just focused on work you know focused on her goals and things she has to do rather mm. than being focused on causing pain for others because that's what problem is like when you start to inconvenience other people yeah. just to convenience yourself or to make yourself happy in the time you get. So for me, but it doesn't mean that if you look at my trouble, I'm not going to retaliate. It's not retaliate, but I'm not going to react yet. Or More like that. Yeah. So it's not deal with. I will just talk about it and let you know. And I'm the kind of person that if I don't like you, I can almost say to your face, I'm a Sagittarian. So I, I don't, I'm very blunt. I'm very acid. I'm so that we know where we are. Do you get, I was stubborn people. Yeah. yeah. So just so that we know where we are at. Do you get, yeah. so that I'm not having to fake smile at you, you know, do all those fake love. We basically just know that we don't like each other. You get, really? are you one of those yeah. people who say, you know what? I don't like this person. So I'm not going to mess with them. I'm, I'm, yeah, I think I'm that kind of person. I mean, the closest experience, and I've been this way since I was really but young. But you really like people, so I wonder, who do you, who don't you exactly. like in Exactly. It's not, well, sometimes you might be around people and you just get certain kind of energies and True. you can just tell, you know, True. and what I do is I either tell you verbally to avoid me or I just completely like blank you. So you know that, mm. okay, Nancy probably can feed off and everybody, when you're doing things, everybody knows what they're doing, do you get so when I do that, you probably, if you've been trying to offend me and get at me mm. and I do that, you can automatically know that, you know, maybe she picked off of that. But you probably tell other people that I don't know. She just saw me. doesn't want to talk to me. Yeah, oh. Do you get but oh, like, but who between like me and you, too. you know, of course now, between me and you, you know fully well why. So mm. for me, I'm just, I think the, like I was saying, that was the closest one I did was basically just tell someone I don't like them and that was on a set yeah he just this person had a uh, yeah. a thing for not air but was just honestly disrespecting the other actresses and do I know this actor this one no it's not even an act. actor it was a crew member you know but we're cool right. now yeah it was a crew member it was just we're all new we're just starting off so mm. it was a kind of energy and I, I told him I was like I don't like you I prefer if we don't say good morning and all of that to each <laughs> other because he used to get under my skin to say good morning because I didn't mean it so I was like, it's just best wow. if we don't say good morning to each other, like because I don't like you. But my own, how I would deal with that? Is I would just not engage. So my own is different. Like, and I but you said you think we're not engaging. If you have to see someone every morning, if you don't mm-hmm. have to engage, why not? You get it over with yeah. now. You you say okay, no problem. When I'm done here, but we have to see each other every morning for a long time. But it's that way you me. grip me for morning. I know answer you would. I do knows. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, the then then it becomes mm-hmm. beef. Then it becomes beef. Well, but that's... when you let each other know. That we're not really cool because you can't be cool with everybody in this yeah. world. That's actually maturity. Mm-hmm. Like when you understand that everybody can't like you, everybody can't gel with you. Even you, you think, oh, I have such a perfect energy, but you might have demons that might also irritate Trigger someone with an even people. cleaner energy. So mm. we all have to, as matured people and just people of the world, mm. understand that it's not when somebody says, I don't like you, doesn't mean I'm beefing you. It doesn't mean if your name comes up in a conversation, I will not recommend you. Right. Do you understand? It doesn't mean that if you're so good at your work, I will not say you're perfect at your yeah. job. But we just do not gel. And it's best for us if we do our things away from each other. A time will come when we need to say hello to each other and like probably 
squash whatever it is mm-hmm. and talk about it. But it just will not be recognized as beef. You both just respect each other to just know that. Maybe our two are just alike. Like we're fire and fire. So we're yeah, just we're clashing, just, just you know. Line. Oh, that's so good. That means you must really like me to actually even... <laughs> I think Nancy likes me, Abby. This is this is a revelation. Thank you so much, Nancy, for giving me a vote of confidence, right? So like Yeah. I like how I mean I like this philosophy towards life and I think it's already working for you also in your craft. And I mean you juggle a lot of things from acting to hosting. I don't mm-hmm. know if you see this thing too. No. Okay, but no. <laughs> but like tell me about growing up. Why like did you already know that you're gonna do these things when you're growing up? What was growing up mm-hmm. like for you? Did your parents have other ideas for you for life? Did they have mm-hmm. other things that they wanted you to probably do? Yeah, my dad well, my mom died when I was about five ish. Yeah. Wow. So I was left with my dad and my dad for the longest time wanted me to be a lawyer because I just absolutely there's like you no really argument. Lawyer, I, think. I think so too, because yeah. there's no argument I go into that I really honestly do not at least win. If I if you win, it means I let you win because I was probably exhausted. Or I just can't do? Deal. What if you're losing? <laughs> will you use emotional blackmail and cry and say no? Things? None of that. I literally have an argument. Like I, when people, I see people have arguments and start to fight or stop talking to each other. It's funny to me because I can sit down with you and have a proper argument, and they will arrive raise your, raise as a your conclusion. Voice. No, you don't even need to raise your voice. We can be having a, an argument. That's why it's an argument. It's not fighting. Yeah. So I can literally have an argument, give you my points, let you give your points, mm-hmm. I give you a point. But when you start yelling, it shows that you're losing control. And that's when I say, okay, fine, cool, no problem, whatever you say. Well, how so are because you going I don't want it to go that This much self control and self awareness. I don't have this much self control. That's the funniest thing. No, because you've already just two nuggets for me. Yeah. First. Nancy, don't, be, don't be acting like, oh my God, this, this is an angelic. This, these just, are things that you probably <laughs> learned over the years or maybe you're. Mm-hmm. Your parents, your father. Mm-hmm. I want to know why you are like this, this grounded. Because I mean, I started life really early. Like I started working when I was like seventeen. I told you I'm the <laughs> male Nancy. Sine. At seventeen, so like I have learned. I've been exposed. I've mm. had everything, but I've just honestly, I'm an old soul. So I've learned. I've also matured. I've learned lessons. I, I listen to people, their stories, and mm. I learn from them. It doesn't mean I don't have my own mistakes. I know I speak like this. It just comes from a place of wisdom. It doesn't come from True. a place of perfection. Because even with so much that I know, I'm still going to like have times where I'm like, well, you know better, Nancy. Mm. How would you do this? How would you lose control? So it's the same way I'm telling you about self-control and what I know about self-control. Mm. It doesn't mean that somebody can come in here probably meets me in my worst mood and pick at me and I lose self-control. It oh, just so you admit makes that me the, the times human. Where you can... Of course, that can happen. Somebody might just be like, poke, 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 And oh, well, somebody that you've avoided your whole life. It? Because I don't really, I'm always at work, yeah. my I'm always yeah. at work. I don't, I don't go to where I'm not invited. I don't even see on the streets I don't like go that. to where I don't need to be. I'm literally always at work. Like, there's an empire to be built. And I, I love build this it. energy. I can't build so it. So I say that if I just mind my business and stay at home, I can build this empire. Practically. You know what I mean? Now this is why they enter. Now they cause the problem. <laughs> well, I attend. I go. Like I said, I go to. I see you out, but I see yeah. you at specific events. If you, if exactly. it's not an industry event or something mm-hmm. that you're getting paid for, mm-hmm. by the way, you're not. We will not see you. Yeah. Like you are scarce commodity. Like it's just for me. And also because I'm just I'm a very anxious person. So yeah. being in social gatherings doesn't really do so well for my mental health. I might try to be there. You know, when I'm working, it's different because like when you're working, you're hosting, it's something mm, you love doing. It doesn't yeah. matter. You love interacting with people when yeah. you're working, so it's perfect. But aside from that, when I'm just sitting down and just, you know, I might be picking up on things and say, I hope I did this right, hope I didn't offend this person, hope I said hello well, hope oh I wasn't my God, I mean, because I I'm am. literally, I'm a shy person. Like, that's what people don't know. But I've just, my job has taught me how to put the shyness by the side. Yeah. But when you see me publicly, like when I'm just walking into it, I walk with my head down. Like I walk, and so I pass a lot of people. So you might see me, I say, she's trying to avoid me. My guy, I'm well, just so scared of having... For this and you I don't know get how you hear things. I don't hear things about myself. Maybe the people say this, but I just oh, no, I have a lot care. of friends who care about me and they give me... F- and sometimes, no, sometimes the feedback is not like... It doesn't help me mentally. I tell people all the time, if it's not good news about me, you can as well leave me out of it. Oh, no, no. There's just some friends who just really care about me who think that, you know what, Timmy-san, you can work on this, you can work on that. It's too much energy on working on what other people think about you. Well, how would you know your, your flaws? How would you know how to fix yourself? What flaws? Flaws are things that you define. Flaws are not what other people say. Oh my God, I need a fair talk from you. <laughs> no, but is it true? No. Flaws are what you define. You should know yourself enough to know your flaws. Somebody else true. should not judge what my flaws are based on what is perfect to you. 
Because I found out that... So, for example, if I have a flaw of maybe I don't like this, I don't like this, I can project it on you. It doesn't make it my flaw. It's just what you see and you project. So, my flaws, I will tell you my flaws. And that's, you know... My friend, what is this your wisdom <laughs> from? It's You have to have grown with old people. Like, I just... I keep telling people that... You have to have this no- level of knowledge from growing up old people, reading books, having like great mentors. Like I really want to know. I read books and I was okay, on the street early. Back. <laughs> yes, I was on the street early too. I got my first job at 17. That's why I can relate. But yeah. let's come back to growing up. You lost your mom well, at five. Well, I was five. saying, yeah, sorry. We lost my mom at five. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, I... You um, had other siblings, right? What number are you? Because I'm number four. I'm number okay, so four. You had older there's, there's, uh, I have all the siblings. I'm the last of my mom, but my dad remarried mm-hmm. much later and have a younger sister. Yeah. So yeah, growing up, what was that was about me growing up, right? Yeah, you did you grow up in Benin or No, yeah. I grew up in Lagos. So okay. I went to school in Benin for three years. What school what school was that? Uh Word of Faith. <gasps> Oh, I know what I said. The word of faith, yeah. Aww. So so my dad wanted me to be a lawyer because it was just like, oh yeah, you know, you can argue. I even remember him sending a letter to me when I was in secondary school to say, I can't wait for you to be a chief judge Aww. and whatnot. Like, he wanted, not even a lawyer, he wanted me to be a chief judge because like, even people around me used to say, because I was just, we, I just, just talk. Like, I love to talk. I love to interact. Mm-hmm. But all of that talking and interacting and reading now pushed over to the entertainment Were side. you guys close? You and your dad? I'm he's not. still, he's still alive. No, Okay. <laughs> Lassie, <laughs> don't correct me. I should not correct me. I know what I'm saying. Uh, is, is this Are you okay? Like, okay, wait, wait, wait. Are you guys still close? Or I mean, were you guys? No, I mean, like, were you guys close? Nancy, you talk about my show. I will see you for me. <laughs> oh, yeah, wait. No, wait. Growing up, were you guys yeah. close? I know he's, he's still alive, but yeah, were you guys yeah. close? Yeah, well, not really. My dad is a disciplinarian. As expected. Yeah, as a disciplinary, but I'm grateful for the lessons. Yes. Yeah, what cause... kind of lessons do you think that Im- impacted you? Like your father, like what kind of lessons do you think that are helping you in life now? That if he wasn't as strict as he was or disciplined as he was, you'd probably not be doing You know, it's thing. the other way around. Because yeah, he was strict. But the thing is, you don't really learn so much from like people who are extremely strict. You don't? You don't. What you learn, let me tell you what you learn mm-hmm. from strict parents. You learn, especially if you're an empath and if you're just a generally good person, Mm. you learn how you felt when certain things were being said or being done and you don't want any other person to experience it. So you protect other people. So it's a flip. It's two sides. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying I'm either or both, but I'm just saying there are two sides of what disciplinarian does or what disciplinarian, especially African disciplinarians, because they're like weird. They're like very you know, controlling and very, yeah. um, but to them, that's like, this is the only way to impact knowledge uh-huh. this child or so help that's them. That's why you see yeah. pastor's kids when they see I'm small a pastor's world. kid though. Ay, hallelujah. No, so, see, I don't now this small world where you no, see your leg small, long. No, I tell you, we see if you hold me back, because when I moved here, I moved from Warrior when I was 15. Yeah. None of my family members did this legal. So, <laughs> I had, I never tasted that much freedom. <laughs> I entered street. I mixed. One of, most of the people that I've met now. Yeah. I remember at one time I was living with Chloe in a, right. my friend's house. Mm-hmm. That's how free I was. Like I, was, mm-hmm. I left school. I was living with like my friends. Mm-hmm. We're all a group of teenagers who lived in the same house. Mm-hmm. Like I tasted food. I feel like one of the things that brought me back to school and back to my senses was my grandmother. My, mm-hmm. Her voice was always in my head. She was so strict. But I know she wanted the best for me. So I, that's why I'm really trying to think. Mm. I mean, there's some level of discipline that can help you in life, but mm. I also understand that when parents are too strict, that children fear them more than fear, they respect. Yeah, yeah. And... So that's why I was saying, in terms of me and my dad being that close, you no, know, because he was a disciplinarian, so he focused more mm. on discipline and making sure that we turned out, you know, perfect or turned out at least close. But to you blame home. your mom was in there, so uh, was you know, there's to always so much. And that's the thing about African homes: there's a masculine, masculine figure, you know, True. which is the old generation, and there's a feminine, feminine so uh, you figure. Grew up do you with get a masculine thing? Of course. Figure. My mom, after my mom, my mom yes. was extremely like protective because I was like, yeah. I was her favorite because I yeah. came six years after my, after the third burn. Oh, wow. So I was very close to her. Yeah. So for, like I said, masculine and feminine, mm-hmm. this generation were learning how to mix up and yeah. seeing that, you know, it's okay to also, as a man, be in touch with your feminine side and it's okay as a woman to be in touch with your masculine side. But are you do never you? tempted to look at what other people are doing? I mean, I look at what other people are doing. As often as Do you ever feel like else. emotions of, maybe not jealousy, but mm-hmm. like, mm, that could have been easily me or... That is perfectly, perfectly so how do you normal deal with those emotions? human emotions. Yeah. Just know where to like draw the line. You know, know what is inspiration. 
and what is just pure like sheer wickedness mm. you know so no it's okay to be inspired it's okay to I mean I saw I, I'm so happy I saw this video today I saw a video of Pokoli and Bella Shmurda and he was literally watching Bella Shmurda's video and he was crying and he didn't even know he was being recorded that's like the sweetest thing because when he did this caption he said I saw his caption first where he was like oh um, I'm fucking crying excuse the F word oh you <laughs> but that's what he wrote. them on this oh, show okay great then okay okay so he was like oh I'm fucking crying right now yeah you know my brother Bella Shmurda to the world and in my mind I'm like oh he was he would be so cute trying to you know cry maybe he's exaggerating and then there's a video that pops up on my explorer about him actually crying while watching the video and trying to do the post he was like crying and cleaning his eye you know and yeah that's just that's, that's love that's that's love that's inspiration so that's he's seen him that on I... that big stage as his friend and instead of feeling some type of way he's mm. inspired and he's just happy and that's the when you live that way, you'll find out that there's so many happy moments in life. So many. Because like good things will keep happening for different people at yeah. different times. The same way you're praying to me mm. for you to be something. It's the same way somebody exactly. else is praying. Oh. So when somebody else gets it, it doesn't mean you're not going to get it because even when you got yours, somebody else was praying. So mm. it's just not, it's not even turn by turn. It's just miracles upon miracles happening mm. every day in different pockets. So somebody else's own cannot by any chance like dim yours yes it's okay to feel that but don't mm-hmm. stay in it for too long don't yeah. stay to a point where you now have to act on it because yeah. that's what people do they stay in that jealousy or envy for such a long and time they eventually thing, yeah. they now start to like talk bad about this person when they True. trying to take opportunities but it's not you that provided the opportunity you get it just makes you look terrible it's like if I tell my friends that yeah. if something really doesn't come to me it will probably never meant to come to me Mm-mm. of course and also because I'm learning to focus on the work mm-hmm on what is important, yeah. my own personal brand, mm-hmm. and shut everything out. I'm mm-hmm. also, me. we're exposed to lots of, the, lots of distractions here and there. You probably see something that you probably like and you're thinking, oh, but for me, I think that my own reaction to that is to find out how they got there, like what mm-hmm. they're doing that's different. Mm-hmm. So I think jealousy clouds the emotion that, or clouds your judgment to the point where you can't even, you can't even get close to the person to know what they're up to. Because mm-hmm. usually half the time, they will give you advice if you reach mm-hmm. out. They will let you know what they're up to. But mm-hmm. because some people are just so buried in that, oh, what is she doing? Like, I don't, do you understand? Mm-hmm. They just stay there and they don't Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're right. That's also another way to look at it. But at, at the same time, you just, I feel like trying to know how everybody's doing stuff can also, you know, cloud your own, yeah, cloud yeah. your own way of doing stuff because we're all unique in our mm-hmm. own creative way. You get like all the big, big people Basically, there's one Dangote and there's one Femi Otedola. Yeah. She gets. And there's one Adenoga. And they all coexist. They all exist side by side. And there's one Elon Musk. There's not an Elon Musk that is just like Elon Musk. And we didn't even see Elon Musk. There's one Beyonce. Like five years ago, we didn't see Elon Musk. Thank you. And there's one Beyonce. There are a couple people who try to be like her or who just have the same kind, but there's one Beyonce. Mm. And there's one Lady Gaga. There will always be one certain person. So, the only way you can get to that one of you is by basically just listening to your intuition, like just taking time to listen to yourself, mm-hmm. you know, um, of course, get advice as much as you can. Mm-hmm. But I just feel like sometimes even just praying and meditating, mm. reading and just like taking your experiences and other people's experiences yeah. can honestly help you, you know, um, get on your own path. You're supposed to study law mm-hmm. and you got into your like for social works. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How did that conversation change? Was he happy with that? Like, my dad, he didn't, well, he didn't know I'd change the science first because I changed the science to study medicine. Really? Yeah. What's wrong with you? I changed the science to study medicine. Why? And then somewhere along the line, I, I tried for it. No, I just wanted to do medicine. I think then a lot of people who just influence your thoughts as a child. True, true. Oh, you should do this. No. Oh, which lawyer? Lawyer doesn't. They don't make money. If you see them, they're tata this thing. Oh, no. You should be mm, a nurse. Engineer. You should be this. Oh, be a doctor. You be a this. So me, I'm like, okay, great then. I liked the, high, the whole, I wanted to be a surgeon. So I was like, I like that whole, you know, vibe. I'm going to go for it. So I told my dad that it's science. He was okay with it. I mean, he's he was, I mean, he didn't, show any kind of anger that was out of the way mm-hmm. it was just normal so from there I did jam for that I did jam for post for um, medicine it didn't work out then in Uniport I did like a diploma 
called basic education. Yeah. So I did basic for six months. I was supposed, I put in for geology. So medicine, after medicine, I didn't make it there. My, was like, my second course was geology. And I heard geologists are like proper, proper, they work oil mm. company and whatnot. So I'm like, ah, ah, that seems like a viable, like oil company, I'm down. So you were just about and the, oil money. You to look at I was the end like, of the day. yo, how I'm going to make that dough? <laughs> I was one of those kids that as soon as I was done, which like uh, while I was still in secondary school, I was yeah, thinking plans. about being. I was thinking about while I'm waiting for my neko and wayek, I'm going to go and walk. Oh my god! Either as a call me. center, as a as a call center, yeah. as a, a phone person, a or a petrol assistant and petrol uh, finish Tanker, station. Yeah. Because ah. I used to see that yeah in Benin, when you finish when you're waiting, there's like the yeah. two jobs, or you go for skills acquisition and go and learn so you're the skill. To do the work. I was ready, but I came back to Lagos and that's when Ushering came up because I was like, oh, Ushering. Somebody introduced it to me. I was like, oh, fine. And then you remember my first and Ushering. You were tall, you looked the part. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then we went to see the agents for the Ushers. She's like, okay, cool. How old were you then? I think then I was 17. Yeah. Because that's like my... Well, you already knew like at the time. I wasn't in Union like yet. Mm-hmm. I didn't tell you like much because I tried after I did the basic, sorry, I was on the basic mm-hmm. story. I said I did basic, it didn't somebody. work out. <laughs> it didn't work out. I came back to Lagos and I started writing jam all over again. Mm-hmm. Jam and push jam, jam and push jam. So in that wait at 17, because I'd come back at about 15, I was almost secondary school, maybe like 14 and a half. I, was, I wow. hadn't even clocked 15 years because my December, my birthday is December. Yeah. So I entered a new class before I even count my age. Wow. Do you get? So I finished around 14. Then I came back home. I tried basic as well. It didn't work out. 16, 17, I was back home, mm. you know. And then um, someone had introduced it to me and I was like, oh yeah, cool. We went to the agent's house and she was like, all right, cool. It's a job for someone in Ikorudu where my dad lives mm-hmm. in that house is and she's like oh um, it's it's a it's a party for this woman and you know what um, we're going to well, you're not getting paid but you're going to get tea fair and I was just yeah, happy to leave the house that, yeah. and work I was just like please no problem ma. the small thing came my account that I've gotten from school that I used to come back you know I didn't spend mm. I went I put a nice hair Fixed my hair. They gave us uniforms. I bought black shoe. That black shoe? That black <laughs> shoe. The number of ushering. I can so only open mouth like this. I used that black shoe. Round. Yes, it was mine. It was a wedge. So it was comfortable. Ah, uh, the straight wedge. That, that uh, So, it is the way I went to the ushering job. And that's how, and I loved it so much that I was even serving food. There was no it was food. so organized. So you're actually an organized person. I'm a, I'm a planner, yes. I'm, I'm an organized arts. person, yeah. yeah. A... But I did a ushering job at some point, but I, I don't think that I liked it. No, me, I did it for a while. I didn't I didn't exactly like the stress, but I was just happy leaving the house and working and earning money. Yeah. You get? It didn't seem like I was going to earn money in the beginning. It was just a passion of leaving the house, like not being sent around and just, I'm finally working because I've always wanted to be working. Like I've always wanted to work. Even when I was in secondary school, I just wanted to work so bad. It's so weird. Like people are saying that they were born for enjoyment. Me, I was obsessed with like finishing school and making my own money. Like I don't know uh, how to explain it, but I just felt like making my own money would give me so much freedom. And I'm so obsessed well. with freedom. Yes. So I'm like, this is like the best. This is root out, Nancy. Yes. Like we have to finish school, work. Probably not so, sure it's not easy. Sure, you know those times. It wasn't where, easy now. Ah, that particular one. Self, I remember going to go and. Well. Ah, I remember going to go and serve somebody. Like they didn't have plates, so I went to the back, entered, wash plates took it out, served food. Because that's who you are. Took, because I just liked it. And then when I was going, they just tipped me like 100 naira notes, like 3K, give it to me like this. And I was like, wow. And me too, the nervous, the, the naive little the girl, woman. I went to show oh! the woman. And the woman took the money and shared it to all of us as our tea fair. I didn't even care. I was just like, what is this bloody feeling? I love it so much. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went back to still work for her. I did about two more. Oh, she would love you. Ah, no, I did about two more. And then I, I started getting audition calls like from my friends and I was meeting as ushers. So I started going into town. My dad too was allowing me, you know. And that's mm-hmm. why I still honestly up to date to appreciate him mm-hmm. because there's so many parents who cannot mm-hmm. give their kids the life they want Especially but they still girl. don't let yeah. them out. Do you understand? Yeah. So let me go and walk now. No, be in the house. But then I'm suffering and there's so much I can make out of my yeah. life. You, But yeah. no, because of morality, you must stay at home. But True. my dad honestly gave to, me the freedom yeah. to, he just trusted me. And the best thing I could do was not show up. Why do you think he, was he not trusted you? Were you always my, a good In my kid? teens, as I was I was never really, I was stubborn. I was, but I just probably, my dad has said something. He sees that I know how to make decisions, you know. And when I went to Benin, I wasn't, my, they didn't call to say, oh, she stole, yeah. she was unruly. Mm-hmm. They absolutely loved my behavior. In mm-hmm. Port 
felt the same thing. So he just trusted that I was just that child that could go out and not. And I also did him proud by not showing back home pregnant. <laughs> That's that's a, that's a and big it's now, deal. I'm fucking thirty now, so People don't I mean, know how much that's you get. So my so some for where I'm from, right? Uh, what parents actually if I pray. show up pregnant now, it's it's not a problem. It's like yeah, bring back my grandchild. Yes, yeah, because now I'm an adult. But like I made sure I had to wait till I was. Yeah. You know, so when the acting start? I see. I just started from the runway because I was on a runway and the director saw me and he was like, ah, you know, it's you look good on. Yeah, yeah, just come, come and come and try out where at the office so I went to office it was an audition uh, Galaxy actually Galaxy TV Galaxy TV in the Kedja yes but I, was so, I was just like what is this me I just came to like make money because I asked the guys like acting would you pay me and he was like yes and I was like I'll be there wow because <laughs> I was in school I have to pay bills bro what so you, you about? were just about your coins just about my coins I wanted to just be able to you know fund my my, my school, school you know because mm. I, I, I've i said it many times I don't come from a rich home so yeah. I had to literally like say, okay, you know what, daddy, you can chill. I'll take care of my, my university. I'll pay my way out. She gets, so I was working to pay school fees, all of that. Oh, you pay so school even fees. O&D, of course I was paying school fees. So OND was not even, OND for me was just make I do this OND. Then mm. I was trying to save money to travel. Then over there, now you can be working, you can collect students' loan. You so that's how you were focused in your life, Shana. I was, I was all about school. I was like, just saving money to just like, out. So I was just like, will he pay? Okay, cool. So, but you do know? you have a social life as a young person? Like, so I assume that you were about your work, yeah? But I did you... to an extent. I did. Like, I used to, so from modeling like friends, gigs, go, go out. But my, my partying face was not so long. It was, I was just bored. I, I was like, okay, been there, done you this. Bored with now you were in bored. Lago. What hotel were you? I wasn't even, I was, I was off camp. So when I entered school and I was doing diploma, mm-hmm. I was doing um, social works for OND. Mm-hmm. I was already, I've already done modeling, I'd partied. So it wasn't when people were excited about certain things, I wasn't. I was just all about going to go and, you know. So I didn't even really mingle with people in Union Lag like that. Like there's Same. no one person that can say, oh, Nancy was in this mm-hmm. one. She used to be my, my very close friend. I don't, I, like what year did you feel? Because I, I, don't, I don't... You might not even hear. You just know a few people that I mean, say social works, here. like... I was at FSS, FSS yeah. so I didn't. I didn't really. I was always there, drive out. You had a car. I had a car. <laughs> ha, man. We never so the same with... school. Please stop that. <laughs> so I wasn't. I wasn't your normal. I was you, your had, you had a, you had a car. No, 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 I had a Camry. No, 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 it was a dead back. Camry. That sometimes when it gets on the slope, will slide down. It doesn't matter. Do you know what <laughs> I had it for you? Mean like, yeah, it I was so social status. Like, are you joking? Yeah, so I really wasn't like my this my one, classmates' classmates because friends, I, wanna, I wanna, was wanna, paying my school fees. All these people were collecting money for for biscuits from there. There's a friend that I want to call his name, <laughs> but I remember one time that he was. I probably if I say the story, you probably, probably remember. Mm-hmm. Like he was literally driving in this car. I don't remember. He literally looked out of the car and eyed us. <laughs> As we were working that day, I think in school we didn't have. <laughs> were you guys it was rude? a matriculation day, I think, or something. Were you guys so, rude? <laughs> we're not rude, but we just don't say we they throw the person since. Say we don't. <laughs> I this a person is a popular influence. I cannot call the person at the moment, but so they throw the person. The person don't say we don't still like her because maybe when they pass love guardian, they look at you. Mm-hmm. But on that day, they catch us with a trick. Mm-hmm. And that day there was no, there were no taxes in school because yeah. I think it was a, an event in school. Yeah. So me and my friend, they trek. They come from gates. Rest mm-hmm. is so Uchi. He's passed. Mm. Someone you they check they come up for gate like this. I just just the way they adjust for the motor look us look at them trekking. And that day we were really trekking. Good. And I'm glad you so, mentioned how you used I to was troll him before. Grand to open and swallow me because at the times that he will catch us trolling him, he probably love God. He doesn't know what we're about. He doesn't know where we have a car or anything, right? So this time he didn't catch us the struggle the normal in like life. So he gave us a look of look at you. I'm the better than all of you. So having a car was a thing. In fact, yeah, there were the girls car. who did not. Ha- there were guys who did not have money, mm-hmm. but they had the cutest babes in school because the girls don't want to walk on that sun and mm-hmm. they had cars. They had cars. Yeah, I had a car. I had a Camry. So did have you? Ho- you had hustled so much from your. Sp- I had worked. I, I started working at seventeen. I entered. I got my social works uh, degree. Sorry, um, admission. Admission, maybe twenty. Oh, so you had you had really worked mm, like twenty twenty one, I think. So yeah. did you did, did you did you know that you were an actor? I didn't even buy, I bought my first car nineteen. I bought my first car nineteen. I'd worked seventeen. I'd worked eighteen. I think my first car was five hundred k. 
or 550,000 ah, yeah, there. Us, yes. And I'd had like modeling gigs, mm. I'd done billboards, I'd done so cal- calendar. Trends, I was working back to back so there was no reason why I couldn't mm. even afford. So I just, I think I had maybe like 800 mm. or so or I'd made, I knew I made my first million very early, like probably 19 year about. So, yeah. so I just like took the 550 and just put that small so that Camry, got, his, and, got a place off campus, Skyfield though. What's the place? Oh, you said that Skyfield? Yeah, where well, we're paying like 45, 50k. Ah, eight, eight that's months. wild. So you had to hustle. So I was there and then furnished the place at 19 and I went back home and I told oh my, my God, dad. Oh my God, that's you. You are you. I'm packing my things because <laughs> I'm packing my things because I had now got an admission. Yeah. I don't even got in years. I got a year after I'd moved off campus. So I was like, I've got in and I need to move into school. This episode has been fire. Thank <laughs> you so much. Thank you. Chest of 30. I wish you. Thank you so much. I can't gr- wait. A great life ahead. To Your career is going to blossom. You Amen. are doing so amazing. You're an inspiration Thank to a lot you. of people. Thank Please you. don't change. Just be the same girl. If you're so unproblematic. I can't. I'm just like, huh? <laughs> I don't even believe that this is your personality. <laughs> but it's so great to have you on. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so you. much, Instagrammers. It's yeah. been great having Nancy on my show. Yes. Thank you, Nancy. Do you want to say anything to my followers? Yes, I'm very happy that I was able to do this for Temi San today. You literally just told me about it last week. I'm and so I'm so sorry. happy. That, I'm a last minute no, person. It's, it's okay. Trust me. If I wasn't free, if it was like in the middle of the year, it you would have, have been. No to me. No, no. I would have been filming. But I happen not to be filming today. And, I'm so happy. And I'm, yeah, okay, I happen man. not to. There would be a few people that would be like. Booked. Ah, We've been calling Nancy for interviews. So do you mean, please, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not I'm trying special, to admit it. shun you or anything. Oh, I'm but, special. Uh, Timmy yes. Song got me at the right time. I was free I'm today. Great. It's the grace of God. Here. Hallelujah. <laughs> cheers to you, Nancy. <laughs> Thank you so much. Cheers. cheers okay, cheers. sorry, Love again. You. How cheers many cheers did less. you do? Mm-hmm. Cheers to 30. Cheers to cheers more. Cheers to 30. Greater things for you. Amen. Cheers to less problems in your life. Amen. Cheers to more money. Amen. Yeah. What do you want for 30? What's your biggest wish for 30? Ah, that's a good question. That less problem sounds like a good idea, but also more, more, more intelligence to deal with the problems. I love it. Because that's, you don't really pray for less problems. You just pray for more I beg go Nancy. You just get for more this is too much. Because I if go. these problems are actually activate you for the next level, without these problems, it's like a sling. Like I'm praying for less problems. You have, have, for you have to, to be you have to be drawn back to be pushed forward. <laughs> Nancy, so no. If you I, don't have those challenges, you're never gonna learn. You're never gonna Nancy, grow. Don't pray, I don't pray for challenges. It's, it's like, like your muscles. Free. Your muscles has to break for no, it to no, grow. If it doesn't like, break, like it doesn't life, grow. This prayer I pray for for this Yeah, I'm not praying for more problems. I'm saying. Whatever 30 brings, I pray for the mental strength, mm. spiritual strength, physical strength, financial strength to be able Very to important. go through them and come out right on top where I belong. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much. But yes, we'll pray for more for 30. It's, always, it's, it's between me and God. I don't know what please. else I want for 30, but I'm just, I'm just happy to be alive and here. I'm happy for you. Yes, I'm, I'm happy that you're alive. Your life means a lot to everybody here. <laughs> and the people that inspire and all 3 million people yeah. Tell me more followers who you inspire every oh, other day. Thank you so, so much. So please, with this vote of confidence I've placed on you, please sign up for my show. Okay, guys. Sign up to subscribe, please. Okay, guys. This is Nancy and I just had a great session with, of course, the one and only Timmy Son. I feel like Timmy Son has been waiting for me his entire life so actually put me on this couch. So he have drained you? me of everything that, you know, but I'm There's happy so I was though. able to. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm extremely happy. While we wait for the book to come, I will keep dropping knowledge here and there. <laughs> so guys, make sure you subscribe to all Timmy Son's uh, um, platforms. He says Spotify. He says Audio, Audio Mac. Mac. YouTube. YouTube. Everything. Follow him on Instagram as well. Apple Music. And yes, open. And then before I go, please listen to our interview with an open mind. Extremely important. Ah, you've already listened to this is the end. Go back. If you didn't open, if you didn't read, open, if you your didn't mind watch an open mind, go back and watch with an open mind. But Thank if you. not, yeah, an open mind is, is perfect to listen to this interview.